Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to install the LD player on a Windows 10 PC. LD player allows you to play Android games and apps on your PC, so we're going to get started with that. The first thing we're going to do is open up our browser. In Google, we're going to search for LD player. LDplayer.net is the official domain for the emulator, and that's where we're going to go. and go right to the website. And on the main screen, you'll see a link for the LD player. So we'll click on that. Now this is version four for the LD player and it'll run Android 7 on your system. So once it's done downloading, we'll just open up the folder that it downloaded in and we'll double click on it. Let's minimize that. We'll double click on it and open it up. So one of the first things that we're going to get is a user control access. You can just click on yes and let it continue. And we'll be first prompted to check the agreement. So we want to make sure that that is checked and the setup path. By default, it's going to install it on your C drive. We're going to leave it as that. But if you have any reasons to change that, you can do so there. And then you can click on install. Now installation may take a few minutes on your computer as it downloads. It depends on your connection. We're just going to speed this up right now. And here you go, installation complete. So when this is done, you can click on start. You notice on the left hand side that we have a couple shortcuts that have been created. It's so just for easy access to open up the player. So now the player is just getting configured and installed as it opens up. There's a few final steps that it has to do here while it's loading. And we'll let that go through. Now, even when this is done, it'll probably do an update in the background. It may ask you to relaunch it once it's complete. So we'll just quickly go through some settings while it's doing that after it's done loading here. Okay, there we go. It's loading up. You can see the display. And at the bottom, it looks like we got a prompt here. And this is the access for the firewall. So we want to allow access here. Uh, the games and the emulators will want to go through your firewall to get connectivity. So you want to make sure you allow that. So this is the main screen. It is probably doing an update in the background. I'm sure we'll get prompted soon. Um, so how about we take a look at quickly at the settings? Yep, there's just a little flicker there of the update. Okay, so we'll go into settings and depending on how you want to use this, in the screen that you set up, you can change the resolution here. Uh, and you can also modify the CPUs, how much RAM you're allocating for the emulator. Uh, for the screens, you can change it to mobile, tablet, or you can customize it. And model, we don't really need to do anything here. For game settings, these are some advanced options. If you're a PUBG fan, you might wanna change your resolution and that can be done here, depending on what version you're playing. And then under audio, we don't have any crazy sound system set up here. So it's just default and network. If you're going to bridge your network connections, you can enable it here. Shortcuts. If you want to make any short keys on your keyboard, you can modify or set them up here. And for the wallpaper, this is for the emulator itself. If you want to change the wallpaper, you can do so here. And then just some other settings. If you want to lock positions or screen sizes and uh, enable any type of permissions it can be done here okay so we got prompted it's done doing its update and to take effect we have to restart so we'll click on restart now and this doesn't take too long it just wants to reload all the new configuration files it downloaded and once this has been completed you can then go ahead and just start using the emulator you can download games and do whatever you'd like um, let's let it load Okay, so there we go. So we're back up and running. It has some default games in here, but if you want, you can go to the Google Play Store and you can sign in with your Google account and you can access the Play Store how you would if you were on a phone or a tablet, except you're on your PC now. So you sign in and then you go to the Google Play Store and then you can search for whatever app, game, movie, or music you're looking for and run it on your PC. So that is how you install the LD player on Windows 10. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.